Hey guys, this is Rob, Sigma 3 Survival School. Today I want to talk to you about a subject that a lot of our viewers have been asking me to do a video on for quite some time now. And I want to talk about how to prevent bug bites in the wilderness. Um, this is something that's kind of an area of an ex expertise for me, uh, simply because the area that I operate the most in down here in the south, uh, our camp has the worst tick and chigger problem uh, and mosquitoes, bug problem in general, of any place I've ever been. It's literally like uh, the, the, the ticks are like invading, you know, army ants. And, uh, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're wearing DEET or, you know, natural sprays. Sometimes we have so many bugs out here that uh, it, it, it really doesn't make any difference. They'll crawl right up your leg one way or another. Um, I do like DEET. Let me talk about DEET versus permethrin. Um, and the most important thing that you can use to treat your clothing with for the long term. Um, there's a lot of discussion out there about DEET um, and it's cancer, you know, uh, being a carcinogen and it's very true. It's uh, highly cancer causing, you know, putting it on your skin, it absorbs through your skin uh, fairly quickly and is absorbed into your bloodstream and then moves into your spinal column and so forth. And I actually learned about this from, uh, I, I did all my wilderness training under uh, one of the world's best wilderness docs. And he taught me about the differences between DEET and permethrin and why he uses permethrin uh, everywhere that he goes in the world. And he travels to the nastiest jungles that you can possibly imagine, yellow fever, malaria, places where if, if you don't use the, the right type of, of treatment and, and bug preventative measures, uh, it could literally cost you your life. And the material or the, the stuff that he uses the most is permethrin. And I really, really like permethrin because um, I treat my, my clothes with it pretty much once uh, a year, if that, and uh, you're good to go on the bugs. And uh, the difference between DEET and permethrin is uh, permethrin is used to treat your clothing. You can't put it on your skin. It'll, you know, it, it basically won't absorb and it'll, it'll wash off and be useless within 20 minutes. So um, what I'm going to show you right now is how to treat your clothing with permethrin in an effective manner. And then also we're going to talk about how to wear your clothing. I can't say this enough. The way that you wear your clothing is the single most important thing to prevent bug bites. I know a lot of you guys that uh, see me wearing camo and things on here all the time think that, you know, I'm, I'm probably, you know, militant and, you know, he wears, why does he wear camo all the time? And honestly, I, I don't prefer to wear camo all the time. Like, we really just have the worst bug problem I've ever seen. I mean, I've had guys come out and uh, have 100 tick bites in six hours and they never even left camp. So it's extraordinarily important for us to be able to know how to deal with these bugs in an effective manner and uh, make sure that we don't potentially get one of these diseases, you know, that we can contract from, from these types of bugs. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to treat my kind of traditional setup of what I wear here. And you can pick this permethrin up at Walmart for about 10 bucks. It's uh, right next to the DEET in the sporting goods section. And all I've got is about half of a five gallon bucket here and uh, a little less now. And uh, I'm gonna take about half of this and I'm gonna dump it in here. And this stuff's really bad for animals, so obviously Tracker won't be drinking out of the bucket now that I've poured this stuff in here. This stuff's really, really bad, especially for cats. And I'm just gonna take my clothing. And don't get in here. I'm just going to mix this up. Make sure that every section gets saturated. And if we put too much water in, it'll dilute it, which we don't want to do. We want this to be a fairly concentrated mixture. And this will last up to anywhere from 40 to 50 washes. It'll keep the bugs off of you.
So here's the stuff that you want. You can pick this up at Walmart. It's a Sawyer brand. It's about $10 for a bottle of this stuff. And uh, it is so much better than DEET, I can't even tell you. I've, I've never used DEET anymore, and most of my, my clothing is, is treated with this stuff. And, you know, for what it costs and how long it lasts, you should never, ever use DEET again. So after you've uh, set your, your clothes in the bucket of permethrin to, um, to let it set in, you want it, I prefer to leave it on there for about 24 hours. Um, but just doing it for a few hours is, is going to work really well also. And you just take this stuff out, hang it up to dry just like you would anything else. And I would just let this set outside for a minimum of 24 hours. You don't let your dogs or cats play around. And just let that dry off. And then we'll come back and show you the finished product. Okay, guys, while we're waiting on uh, our clothes to dry, and you want to set those out 24 hours to air dry if you can. You don't really want to throw them in the dryer. Um, agitation and heat and things like that can uh, be bad for the process. You want uh, the permethrin to, uh, to naturally dry into your clothing. But uh, while we're waiting on that to dry, I want to talk to you a little bit today about how to dress and you know, the clothing that we use while in the woods, how important that is for keeping the bugs off of us. I mean, this is basically our first line of defense when it comes to, you know, the bugs getting in. If we can keep them from getting in and getting access to our skin, then we can essentially neutralize their ability to, to cause us to itch. Um, and the best way that I have found to do that is to wear a type of hiking boot or a combat style boot that, um, is a little bit higher up the leg than, than a normal hiking boot would be. That way you can tuck your, your pants into your, your physical boots. Uh, and I like to just take them and just fold them over uh, behind the back side of the boot and uh, tuck that in and make sure that I, that I tie the laces down real tight so that uh, bugs can't wiggle their way down in. The next thing that's uh, of real importance is tucking your shirt into your pants. And by doing this, you know, we essentially, the only place that they can get in is on our arms. And if you wear long sleeves, then that pretty much neutralizes everything that can get in. I got to tell you guys, most of my clothing isn't actually treated with permethrin. I really do love it and, uh, you know, appreciate its capabilities. But if I dress properly, 90% of the times I don't need, um, you know, bug repellents and, and things like that. I do like to have certain sets of clothing that have uh, permethrin treated in them, um, you know, because I go to some areas and then we do tactical classes and we just have, you know, a bunch of places that I go that uh, require me to be really mindful of bugs. I mean, I've had my face bitten up so much, you know, from wearing untreated uh, suits that my face began to swell. And, you know, I've had thousands of chigger bites and things like that. But when I dress properly, I don't have to worry about that. And as long as I'm tucking my pants into my boots and my shirt into my pants, I've eliminated 90% of the issues just doing that alone. All right, so here's the finished product. Uh, basically, the permethrin doesn't change the color of your clothing. There's no, there's no real re residual smell to it, uh, kind of like you have with DEET. There's no filmy solution. It's just your clothes. I mean, and now they're treated with a, a substance that's highly, highly toxic to uh, you know, any type of bugs that are gonna land on you and potentially cause diseases, things like that. So, you know, I always tell people if you're gonna be in an area that's got a lot of bugs, uh, ticks, whatever it may be, that you need to treat your clothing with permethrin. But uh, if, if bugs aren't that bad, uh, they're only marginal, most of the time I only just use the, the method of, you know, tucking your, your pants into your boots and tucking your shirt into your pants. And I'll tell you guys, that really does eliminate 90% of the problems. You might feel like you look a little bit goofy, but uh, I promise when you come down with Rocky Mountain Fever, you know, you won't, uh, you won't give a damn about how you look. Um, it, it really is about function and not fashion out here, guys. So dress accordingly when you come to the woods and, uh, you know, check out some of these products. You know, let me know. Give us some commentary back on... Uh, you know, how well permethrin and, and, you know, some of these methods throughout the series have worked for you. 
And uh, as always, we'd appreciate it if, if you could share, like, subscribe our videos and uh, really help us put this free information out there on the web for everybody's use and benefit. And uh, as always, we appreciate your viewership. Thank you.